be slowly work your way towards it and then you just put your hand out and, and, and capture it very very gently with two hands one close to the head one down near the near the base of, uh, of the tail and you can see that they initially they wiggle around a fair bit but eventually they they stop wiggling they like the the feel of the warmth of your hand especially in the morning when they're quite cool they're very passive little snakes they don't try to bite um, they do use a defense mechanism when they're cold where they gape their mouth open and they show their teeth and they have rows of very small teeth and they they their jaws are so weak that they they couldn't even break your skin but you just let it run from one hand to the other like this you don't need to grasp them tightly in order to keep them in your hands and as a matter of fact you sh it you should avoid grasping them tightly because they have very fragile bones and you don't want to da you don't want to injure the snake of course and we we encourage you to just pick up one at a time makes it easier to hold on to onto the snake and you can you can actually you know look at the spots the red spots that give it the name red sided garter snake um, they stick their little tongue out because they're trying to figure out who you are uh, and then they use their tongue to pick up particles around in their environment in order to determine you know what's going on around them and then after you've had the chance to to look at the snake a little more closely you just put it down and just let it carry on its way.